life, we all want to be the best that we can be. I mean, who wants to settle for anything but less than perfect, right? But how exactly can we achieve personal perfection? Through an active lifestyle, a healthy disposition, and a positive outlook in life. And that's where we come in. I am Maggie Wilson. And I'm Tara Licaro. And this is Fit and Fab, your ultimate guide to being a better you. Reach for the sky. to get you on that road to self-improvement. From exercises to get your body ready for the summer, to better ways to boost your self-confidence, to fashion tips in the office. So what are we waiting for? Let's jumpstart the new you with our fit side. Summer is now finally upon us. And you know what that means. Longer days with hotter temperature. How do you beat the heat while working out? Simple, of course. All you need is a swimsuit and a swimming pool. Watch this. Summer is now in full gear, but working out in this extreme heat and humidity is certainly no fun. How do you stay cool? By staying in the water, of course. Water exercises are the best way to work out under the sun without overheating. You can get a full body workout without even breaking a sweat. What's good with water workout? It develops your body, develops the muscles, it tones each and every part of your limbs, your arms, your legs. It's low impact. So even if you're working out, you don't feel it. It prevents injury because you're buoyant. There's some resistance in the water. So whichever, way, whichever direction you go, the water is there resisting and also supporting you. An added incentive? Water workouts are definitely more fun and socially interactive. Spend time at the pool with your friends while also trying out these exercises. But if you're not exactly a champion swimmer, no problem. If they don't know how to swim, at least have somebody there with you who knows how to swim and who can, um, who can watch over you while you're doing your water workout. Well, I think we're convinced that aquatic workouts are great for the body. So guess what? We're off to give it a try. Like most physical exercises, it's best to do some stretches before beginning your water workout. For our first exercise, we're going to do dig dips. Stretch your arms in front of your body with your hands cupped and facing down. Then, bring your arms down and extend them as far behind your body as you can. Flip your palms upward and bring your arms forward again until they break the surface of the water in front of you. The Dig Deep exercise tones and defines your deltoids. Do 15 reps and you'll definitely feel the burn. The third exercise is for the chest and shoulders, the up and down pull. Extend both arms straight out to your sides at shoulder level. Palms should be down and fingers should be held firmly together. Bring the arms down until your hands touch the front of your hips. Without changing your hand position, lift the arms straight to the starting position and use equal force as you pull down and lift up. Let's now target our abdominal muscles with crunches. Lean your back against the pool wall, bracing your arms across the side of the pool. Slightly lift both your legs and toes off the floor. Keep legs straight in front of you, knees together and toes pointed. Bring your knees close to your chest, bending the legs as you form a crunch position. Then, release and extend your legs with toes almost touching the floor. Remember gals, your back should always be against the pool wall. A more difficult ab exercise is the pendulum. Stay braced against the pool wall and hold your legs together straight in front of you. If this hurts your lower back, slightly bend your knees. Swing both your legs as far as you can to the right and then to the left just like a pendulum. Your contact with the pool wall will rock from one hip to the other. To tone your legs, you can do lateral leg lifts. Stand with your right hand on the side of the pool and your hips perpendicular to the pool wall. Maintaining erect posture, lift your left leg directly to the side. Keep the feet parallel so that the knee points forward rather than upward. Lift the leg only as high as you can without altering your upper body position. Then pull your left leg back to the starting position. 
When you're done with that, you can water jog. You can jog in place or across the pool. Just lift your legs alternately in a controlled motion. Water jogging gives you a high impact leg workout in a low impact setting. Because of this, okay talaga siya for cross training for other sports. Our last water exercise is called the front flutter kick. Turn around and brace yourself facing the side of the pool. Hold the pool gutter with both hands and lift your hips and legs behind you and begin shallow straight leg kicking. When comfortable doing the kicks, you may opt to use the kickboard. Front flutter kicks are great for toning the legs and the abs. Talk about hitting two birds with one stone. And after immersing ourselves in the water for half an hour and experiencing those challenging exercises, you're leaning against the wall. The water is resisting you every step of the way. They're asking you to raise your legs. Seems easy. But you know, pina ka mahirap talaga for me was yung pendulum. Moving from left to right, you have to maintain your legs na. You're slipping, you're trying to resist it. Grabe. It's really, when they say it's a total body workout, they really, they really mean it. Yeah. Pero, it's like every single part of you. But, but diba? it's worth it naman eh. It's fun. For maximum results, you can do these for 30 minutes a day for thrice a week. We guarantee that these workouts will work out your entire body while you're having fun under the sun. Update your wardrobe with these fabulous fashion tips. Coming up next. There's a new revolution sweeping across the workplace, a fashion revolution. Gone are the days of drab grays and button-down shirts and pencil skirts. Today's workwear has new colors, shapes, and forms. Join their new wave that's sweeping across our offices. Here's how to update your workplace wardrobe. Office wear has evolved from the classic neutral colored button-down top and pencil cut skirt to more fun and colorful shapes and forms. And though every day isn't exactly casual Friday in some offices, you can still tailor your wardrobe to show off your inner fashionista while adhering to the company dress code. There was never really um, a drastic change in the career uh, style or silhouette. Uh, it changes only <laughs> maybe in a decades, but um, it still is in the very basic uh, silhouette. So what you can do is just probably accessorize it, uh, shorten or lengthen it, um, put an inner blouse, choose a color, put um, a modern color into, into infuse it. To find great work wardrobe choices that won't drain your wallets, we headed over to the Black Shop, a store that definitely has a misnomer for a name. A fresh grad would be willing to wear. Gosh, it's a budget now. Yeah. There is the very loud colors right now. Basically, the blues, the emerald greens, the loud ones, mustard uh, on the brighter side. And we'd, we'd rather that you tone it down. And you can use these colors for your inner. What makes this uh, updated and modern, the first thing you would notice is the color combination. It's not the basic black and white, gray, brown. It's this one, it's she paired uh, a set of olive green top and bottom, and then she used a rust colored inner. That's the first thing you would notice in the collection. Na to. And then with this uh, style, it's not the basic lapel, it's uh, well rounded. And then it is actually accentuated with a built in belt, which we tied into a bow, which made it more updated and a little bit kikai at the same time. Yes, accessories really add a little something-something to any outfit. And for women's workwear, the right accessories goes a very long way. Crowns, crowns! Okay, this is for me, this is for Maggie, and this is for Nadia, yay! <laughs> well, you can accessorize it with brooches, perhaps. It's not really the outfit that will make the look. It's the entire look. You can also accessorize it with earrings, perhaps, just so it can have that, um, that corporate thing and yet uh, modernize it. What she's wearing right now is a basic corporate dress. And what made it modern and updated are the sleeves. Puff sleeves and balloon sleeves are 
a very in right now. And then it's still the classic A-line, which we accentuated with a sash. And then to break the monotony of the color, we added this uh, big brooch, this green big brooch, just to add sparkle and detail to the outfit. Bags and shoes are perfect. Oh, because the colors now, we always would want it toned down. So you can perhaps push it up again with colored bags and shoes. Use softer materials. Uh, and it's usually flowy when you use softer materials. We have jackets that are made of softer materials. Uh, to update the basic or the typical corporate look, all we need to do is uh, just to add accessories to make it more uh, modern. Uh, what we can do also is to button this up, put in the collar, and then just add on a white belt to complement the inner. So it would somehow look like this. To make this uh, modern and updated, all we need to do is just to open the jacket so that the detail of the inner would be seen like this. It has pleats and then it has black buttons to complement the collar of the jacket. And then we can also put out the sleeves, the cup of the sleeves, so that it would complement the inner. And with this one, we can change the detail from necktie to a bow. And for the day to night working woman, a wardrobe that matches her lifestyle. What would be the best way or how would you uh, transition from corporate day wear to an evening wear? Make ba on your <laughs> sexiest pair of high heel yeah. shoes. With the right clothes, colors, and accessories, you can break the drone and monotony of your daily work routine. So, make it work, ladies! Coming up on Fit and Fab, five food myths busted. Stay tuned! Chocolates give you pimples, right? Wrong! It's just one of the many food myths that we all know and believe. We did our own sleuthing to find out that what you believe in may not necessarily be true. Here's five food myths busted fit and fab style. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about food. food. Because admit it, we also have our own superstitious beliefs about them. Passed on from Lola to Mommy to us. Food myths are exactly that. Old wives' tales that aren't true. Period. So Fit and Fab went out to find five popular food myths. Our mission? To debunk these false facts once and for all. Let's start off our list with a little food for the brain. Eating nuts make you intelligent? My teachers used to tell me to eat nuts before taking an exam because it makes you smarter. Though munching on peanuts can help you stay awake and alert during long hours in class or at work, it's not the best way to feed your brain. Because the peanuts they contain what we call as niacin, nakakatulong to in terms of blood flow sa sa brain natin. Now it can contribute to that. Pero kung yun lang yung pagbabasihan mo, like puro peanuts lang yung kakainin mo, hindi ka naman tatalino kung peanuts lang. You definitely have to have other nutrients as well para magfunction din yung brain mo nang properly. So instead of buying kilos of peanuts to boost your IQ, why not hit the books instead? Myth 1. Eating nuts make you intelligent? Busted! Yogurt is the perfect diet food. Pang alam ko, yung yogurt, nakakapayat daw siya. So yun, naniniwala ako dun. Yogurt has long been seen as every dieter's best friend. But guess what? Certain types of yogurt can be as fattening as ice cream. Believe it or not, Greek yogurt has 10 grams of fat. You have to remember, it's not the only product you should use in terms of if you want to lose weight. Because there are instances where they use yogurt for a yo-yo diet. That means if you want to lose weight fast, sabi nila, you just take in a lot of yogurt. After a week, you're going to lose so-and-so pounds. That's not true. So check on the nutritional facts of your yogurt brand to make sure that it's as low-fat as it claims. Myth 2. Yogurt is the perfect diet food. Busted! Diet drinks can help you lose weight. Niniwala po ako na yung diet colas, yung mga diet products na iniinom, nakakatulong sa pagpapayat. Kaya umiinom po ako doon. 
Fact is, a can of regular cola contains about 8 teaspoons of sugar and gives you 675 flab-forming kilojoules, which is probably why diet colas with only 10 kilojoules in them are the popular alternate drink for cola addicts. There are studies ngayon that were conducted that showed na if you take in kahit diet cola yan, mababa yung calories niyan, zero calories yan because of the artificial sweeteners. Even if you take those, they actually trigger food cravings. So ang tendency mo is, hindi ka man kakain ng <clears throat> or inom ng maraming colas, because of your diet drink, you might actually start consuming more foods more of the different types of foods. Mapapansin mo yung when you take in cola with your meal, mas magana ka kumain compared if you just take it with regular water. Myth 3. Diet drinks can help you lose weight. Busted! Coffee causes a rise in blood pressure. Ang alam naming drink myth, yung sa kape daw, nakakapagpanervyos pag masyado kang uminom nun. Kaya nga hindi kami nagkakape. According to the study of Australian researcher Jack James in 1998, Three to four cups of coffee taken in a day tend to slightly increase the lower level of blood pressure. But coffee alone cannot increase levels in blood pressure. Fact is, those palpitations one experiences after a cup is due to one thing. Coffee because it contains caffeine that acts like both a stimulant, so it also works as an energizer more. Myth 4. Coffee causes a rise in blood pressure. Busted! Eggs make you fat. I avoid eating eggs because I'm conscious with my body. On the contrary, eggs are actually low in calories, high in vitamins, and nearly perfect in protein. Eggs in itself will not make you fat if you just consume one a day, which is actually what's recommended now. Ang ginagawa lang natin actually to promote eggs naman, it's more of making sure that you eat less of the cholesterol coming from it. So you it nando dun kasi yun sa yolk. It's more more of the yolk, nando dun yung cholesterol. The egg whites don't contain cholesterol. So the next time you want a fat-free serving of eggs, take out the egg yolk. Myth 5? Eggs make you fat. Definitely busted. There you go, ladies. With five food myths busted, it just goes to show that not everything you believe is true. If you've always wanted to take up running but don't know where to start, we've got just the thing for you. Jogging 101 is up next on Fit and Fab. If you've always wanted to kick off your jogging habit but never really knew where to start, we've got just the thing for you. Jogging is one of the most effective, convenient, and time-efficient forms of exercise. With just a good pair of running shoes, you can burn more calories in less time. First things first, fashion. In jogging, you can indulge your inner fashionista while getting a good sweat because it's essential to have the right apparel and footwear. Pag may air yung uh, sapatos, we scoop out a chunk of foam in it. We replace it with air, uh, which is um, much more. It gives you more bounce, at saka it returns more energy as compared to foam. Okay, to sa beginners, kasi uh, lightweight siya. Um, hindi siya pang built for racing, pero okay siya for long runs and yung mga short, quick races. Choosing the right shoe will make you feel more comfortable when you run and prevent you from incurring foot injury. So for this shoe, since we're talking about beginners, um, I suggest that they start with a encapsulated air shoe. So yun yung pinaka simple at pinaka basic na cushioning na we so we provide our consumers with. And if you're flat-footed, you'll be happy to know that there are certain shoe models that are perfect for you. Ito yung shoe na I would suggest they go for. Um, ito kung papansin niyo. Mas malaki yung dual density area nito, so it gives you more support. When it comes to apparel, steer clear of heavy fabric and stock up on light, quick drying material. Well, there are sections kung saan mas kailangan talaga ng babae ang cooling. So like in the chest area, in the back side, under the armpits, here on the side, dyan yung laging pinapawisan ng mga babae. Kaya, in a lot of our apparels, particularly for running and for training, you will find 
may mga sections doon na may mesh. Less yung uh, weaving na ginamit dito. And the zoning portion for, for cooling, the mesh, it's all in the right places. So here on the side, this is all made of mesh. So may, para may ventilation here, air comes in, goes out the other side. Here again, as we said, where we perspire a lot, may mesh ulit tayo dito ang portion. Ano? And in the back side, yun din yung merong mesh fabrication. And again, we still have here yung ating reflective tape. And even the cut that they made here, it, it really um, gives you more form. This shirt is a body mapping t-shirt, which means it follows the contour of your body. And it also maps out the mga heat zones of our body. Kaya here, if you can see, mas sa bandang taas, mas maraming butas-butas. In the back is the regular Nike Fit um, fabric. And if showing off your legs in a pair of shorts isn't your thing, you're in luck. So you can see it here. Na nakakat siya, nakas meron siyang sleep here, so that when you fold your knees, hindi na hindi uncomfortable yung feeling, may sleep siya. And then it goes all the way here where most of our perspiration normally is for women. And don't forget the most important part of your workout wardrobe, proper support for your breasts. Um, some people, as I said, are comfortable using this, so this is normally seen inside the gym na ganito yung outfit nila. Um, see this, the portion here, this is mesh. In the front, there are also mesh portions right here, and there's support here. And underneath, meron built-in support na yan for the cup, so you don't have to change it. And for optimal running performance, it's recommended that you strap on one of these babies. A workout-specific watch that monitors your heart and pulse rate before, during, and after your workout. A good heart rate monitoring watch should monitor the percentage of your zone, uh, monitors your calories burn, and your fat burn. Before heading out for a run, it's always important to remember a couple of things to ensure minimal physical wear and tear. Eat a lot of carbs. Never do exercise without eating. Before you run, make sure that you check your posture first. Now, how are you going to check your posture? Stand tall. Make sure that your chest is out. Everything in level. Your hips, your feet is level with your hips. Your hip is level with your shoulder. And you can see your neck. Chin down, eyes front. Now, na, paano mo lalaman kung stable yung katawan mo? If you could lift one knee, standing in one knee without falling for one minute. Make sure that yung ankle mo is level with your knee, your knee is level with your hips, and your hips is level with your shoulder. And to prepare those muscles for that extensive leg workout, here are some warm-up exercises for you. First exercise we want to do is called the backward lunge with a twist. So this prepares your hip flexors, your glutes, your hams, and your quadriceps, your lower back as well, and your obliques. Another way to warm up is the inverted hamstring. So she's warming up the muscles of her hip flexors, her obliques, and her lower back at the same time. So this prepares these muscles for running later on. And what we call the drop lunge. That's the final exercise for warming up for running. If you do the last three, and you're, you're actually gonna be uh, preparing your muscles and avoiding the risk of injury during running. And here's your great running tip. Be sure to relax both arms for that swift arm swing. Chest out and then run. Opposite arm swinging. Use your other arm to propel you while you're running. And that's a proper way to run. You'll avoid any injuries and the common mistakes that are associated with beginning a running program. And now you're ready to go. Running is so convenient because all you really need is a great surface to run on. If you love the outdoors, hit the open road as long as you do so in the morning or late afternoon when it's not too hot. But if the gym's your thing, hitting the treadmill at your fitness center isn't such a bad idea either. Usually, that's what I, I recommend to mga beginners, to mga mag -umpisa. Kasi in the treadmill, they could practice good form in running. At the same time, you could use the treadmill anytime. At the same time, you check ng trainer nyo or ng running coach mo yung form mo. The good thing also with the treadmill, may shock absorber in treadmill, so very safe sa sini sa ankle sa sa back.
For rookie runners, it's recommended that you start out running 30 minutes twice a week, gradually increasing your time according to your body's improving endurance. You can have a stronger heart, more efficient heart, and then that's increased VO2 max. It's your oxygen uptake. You're efficient at taking in oxygen. No? And then third is actually better, it's for weight management then. No? You can lose a couple of pounds from running alone. Regardless of how long you run, remember to always stay hydrated. This keeps you cool and it replenishes all the fluids you lose when you sweat. There's really a romance to running because it's all about you and the open road. And with our Fitness 101, here's hoping you'll fall in love with it the proper way. Bring out your fab side with our foolproof confidence boosters. Up next on Fit and Fab. Ladies, it's time to unleash your inner goddesses. I say it's time to get fab. And when you feel totally fabulous on the inside, it always radiates to the outside. Protect more. This week's fab guide is all about boosting your confidence in more ways than one. Insecure? Lack of confidence can stop you from doing what you want and being who you want to be. Meet Mary Jane Garcia, a sales agent whose job requires her to interact with people most of the time. Uh, once I see my face in the face, it's hard to think that I'm really big. Corporate by day, songbird by night. Because what Jane really wants to do is sing. Gusto ko pa rin pagpatuloy yun, yung pagkanta, kasi yun talaga yung first love ko. But one thing really brings her down, her weight. You see, Jane is a bit on the big side, which is why she hides under bulky corporate clothes and bulks at performing in front of a huge crowd. I think mas makakakuha ka ng attention ng tao, and at the same time, parang pag nakita ka nila na maganda yung looks mo, tapos na, na totally na sexy ka naman. Siguro yung at least makita nila yung 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 figure mo na parang okay okay ka man amit. Like a lot of women out there, Jane goes through a lot of self-imaging because of the way she sees herself physically. So we decided to boost her self-confidence fit and fab style. Endorphins give you that natural high after working out, so we took Jane to fitness instructor Joa Abalde to show her some great exercises designed to release her endorphins and treat her trouble spots. Overweight siya sa ngayon. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, may may three program workout tayo. Tapos, una na doon, kasama na yung cardio. Pangalawa, weight training. Pangatlo, kasama na yung abs doon na exercise, which is yung mga babae gusto na talaga nila magkakaroon ng abs. First on the fitness agenda, cardio. And this means hitting the treadmill for 15 minutes to get that heart pumping. See, kaya kaya na, kaya kaya mo yan. Joel also recommended that Jane do some lightweight training to tone and work on her shoulders, chest, and legs. And to trim the tummy area, Joel taught Jane a couple of ab exercises. And if Jane continues her gym sessions three to four times a week religiously, she's bound to lose her unwanted weight. Work it, girl! For Jane's hair and makeup, Symmetria Salon came to the rescue. It has too much volume, especially on the jawline. Meron siyang um, copper, rich copper color ng hair uh, na medyo hindi nagsusuit dun sa complexion niya. So Mercy de la Cruz changed Jane's look by first adding highlights and lowlights that complemented Jane's complexion. gave her a stylish, layered cut that totally fit her oval-shaped face. Pag maganda ang hair mo, parang 
plus 50% ka agad yung confidence mo eh. Pag maganda yung hair mo, di ba? Pag gising mo. Maganda na rin yung mood mo, di ba? Malaking bagay yung hair everyday. Light makeup fits your everyday office look, according to makeup artist Susan Aquino. Kasi pag heavy, parang focus na focus yung ano nung bone niya, tsaka yung sa pangay. For a more slimming look for her face, Susan contoured Jane's cheekbones and jawline with blush on. Ikocontour niya lang palagi para, para humaba lang siya. Hindi siya yung magiging mapanga. The results? Talk about makeover magic! To complete Jane's new look, Crossing's department store and stylist Sharon C. were happy to help out. According to Sharon, Jane should pick clothes that suit her apple-shaped body type. Since you're top-heavy, so I will emphasize masyado sa, sa taas, so don't cover your chest too much. See the fabulous results? Like with anything in life, um, anything new is like being reborn. So having a new wardrobe can give you more confidence or a happier outlook in life. And since Jane's confidence was at an all-time high, we decided to throw her a surprise. A karaoke party! Mas nag-gain ako ngayon ng confidence sa sarili ko dahil sa nangyari. And syempre, kahit na, kahit na ano yung isuot mo, basta be, be what you are and pakita mo sa kanila na, na kahit na, o yun, kahit chubby ako, di ba? Kailangan confident ako na kahit chubby ako, kaya ko din suotin yung sinusuot nyo. Take it from Jane. Instead of dwelling on your own flaws, flaunt your best assets. Be confident because we are all definitely worth it. Great legs are only seven steps away. Find out what they are next on Fit and Fab. What's the one part of our body that we always love to show off but probably gets the least TLC? Our, our legs! legs. Here's how we can love them in just five easy ways all in time for the summer. Great legs never go out of style. And with summer just around the corner and hemlines getting much, much shorter, how can we show off a fabulous pair of summer-ready legs? No more. Here are five easy ways for you without going to the salon. Here's how. First, polish your skin. The number one secret to having smooth and sexy legs that feel like silk is to exfoliate. Exfoliation is there so that you can have an even skin tone. Because when you tan, especially for the summer, a lot of people are into tanning. They want to flaunt their legs so that they can show how sexy their legs are, how shiny, how beautiful. And then it's uneven because it's not well exfoliated. Choose a body scrub with coarse greens because the skin on your legs is slightly thicker than the rest of your body. Use a brisk circular motion when exfoliating your legs and pay extra attention to the ankle and knees. For best results, apply a firming lotion after exfoliation. Firming lotions can contain collagen and elastin that help tighten the skin. Go for bare? Get a flawless finish. Don't risk the safety of your skin by using cheap, single-bladed razors. When you shave your legs, invest in a two to four blade razor, which will remove your leg hair in a single pass. And instead of shaving before showering, switch to doing it during the latter part of your bath. Shaving at this time is best because your pores are open, thus making it easier to remove hair. If you're not a fan of the razor, then try waxing, which can be done professionally in the salon or DIY style in the comfort of your own home. 
There are a variety of at-home waxing kits in the market with easy-to-follow instructions, so go and give them a try. Add some color. To get that fresh from Bora Glow without exposing yourself to the harmful rays of the sun, invest in a self-tanner spray. Self-tanner sprays are easier to apply than most creams and gels because sprays adjust well to your skin. Perfect for rookie self-tanners. For beginners, because it's very easy for people to, to get to end up with the wrong color self-tanner, you could turn orange or too dark. I recommend the clear liquid, but it adjusts to your color. It's like one of those spray tanning things at Velo. It's, you know, um, instead of, of spraying on a particular color, you're spraying on a protein that adjusts to your skin. And this will give you the most natural color that you have. For proper application, apply the product just to the top of your ankles and spread up to your knees. Use a mirror to keep the backside in sight to make sure that every spot is covered. But if self-tanning isn't your thing, try using some body oil. Body oil gives your legs a sexy glow in just seconds. Just look at this! Prettify your toes! To complete your great leg look, don't forget to give your toes extra pampering. If you love wearing flip-flops and sandals, a pedicure is definitely a must. If you want to save money by avoiding expensive nail salons, buy a nail kit and give yourself an at-home pedicure. Whenever you cut your own toenails or fingernails, you should always trim it straight across. Don't leave, Some people shape their toenails in a curved line, right? You're not supposed to do that because it will only cause ingrowns and you shouldn't be picking at the cuticles because it only have them pushed back because otherwise it's going to harm the, your, your nail bed. And when it comes to nail polish, apply a base color first before putting on the second layer and choose a color that will complement your skin tone. Seven steps to get a fabulous pair of legs. Now your legs are really ready for the spotlight. You know, Tara, how we always talk that summer is here. Now, as much as I love summer, I like hitting the beach and being under the sun, what I hate the most are the sunspots that I get from too much sun exposure. You know what, Maggie? I totally agree with you. Sunspots are a problem not just for you, not just mm -hmm. for me, but for every single woman out there. Buti na lang may Fit and Fab Q&A tayo to answer all of our beauty and body concerns. Spots are usually brown, sun-induced small circles that you can find on the face and sometimes on the upper arms. Common term, I guess, would be freckles, which would be the smaller brown spots. And then for the older people, you would see them manifesting with the bigger brown circles on their face. Then uh, those are also what we call uh, solar lentigines or sunspots. How do you treat them, Doc? Once the sunspots are there, you can't actually do much about it. No, You can do prevention just so that you don't add on to it. And for those that are there, we have some bleaching agents, but not everything will be done by the use of bleaching agents. You actually need something more aggressive like the lasers. No, uh, We have pigment lasers like the Q-Switch and the uh, laser, which is very, very effective for the treatment of this. And um, normally, you may just need one session, at the most two, to remove them. Ah, ganun pala yun. Now I know better. Thanks, Doc. We at Fit and Fab would really like to hear from you, so please do write to us at fitandfab at gmanetwork.com. We promise to answer all of your burning questions about beauty, body, health, and fitness. So please do write to us. We'd love to hear from you. After all, making you more fit and fabulous is our absolute mission. Once again, I am Maggie Wilson. And I'm Tarelli Carlos. And we'll see you all next week only here on Fit and Fab. Fab.